how do you feel that art and spirituality blend for you? Yeah. I mean, I actually feel emotional talking about this. I'm like, art has been, art saved me when I was young. I would say I grew up in a family of non-empaths. And so I was the only empath and I was like picking up on things that nobody else would even admit were there. And so I felt really lonely. Nobody would talk about things. And so I turned to art as this place to go to process how I was feeling and be seen and understand myself, I guess. And so I've had this really deep spiritual connection with art since I was super, super young. And then when I went and got my master's, I was like, oh, I understand what's going on here and how to give that experience to other people. And now art as a soul language is really the way that I help other people tap into their soul messages through art. So again, I would say this is sort of like, probably was meant to be all along. It's been in my life since I was a little kid. Mm, that's amazing. What is this? What's your definition of a soul message? It's a message that is what you need to hear. It's coming from your soul and it's the opposite problem of what your brain thinks, right? You and I were just talking before we started recording about taking risks. Your brain is like, I don't want to take risks. It's not safe. It's scary. And then your soul is like, take the fucking risk. Like go do something different. Stop doing the conventional life path, Michelle. I honestly think that rupturing my Achilles was a soul message, but those are the painful kind where you really haven't been listening for years. And so something really extreme has to happen. So in the art process, it's easy to get soul, those soul messages that don't have to be painful. It's like, go here, do this. This is the way towards your purpose. Oh, that's amazing. That feels really nice. It feels like such an elegant, creative way to do it and to bring something from the liminal space within the metaphysical, like literally out on canvas or a piece of paper, and then it becomes physical and it's sort of right in front of you. I can just imagine how you would do that. What are, what is some of your process? Cause that's fascinating. So we use archetypes and we go into the shadow of the archetype. And then, so the archetype acts as a bridge from the liminal space to the physical. And the art is also the bridge or the conduit that allows the message to come through. And then you're right, once you create it, we also, it really helps to go into the shadow. Um, so I have all these, these ways of, of like, let's trick your mind, right? Let's trick your mind and, and like really find out what's going on here. So archetype, shadow, art process really allows something to come through that your mind didn't really mean to have there. And then you're right, once then you have this physical product, it really helps because if I point out like, hey, I noticed there's no hands in your drawing, you can't really be like, well, that doesn't mean anything. It's like, well, <laughs> that was my drawing and I didn't know that I did that, but now that it's there, we can really work with it. And so it has this nice integration process on the other end, right? I've come from the liminal across the bridge. Now I have this physical thing that I can work with, put it away, come back to it, things like that. That's amazing. Do you think it helps people who maybe don't have a lot of emotional intelligence or words to put around the emotions and how they're feeling because it is so visual and it, in a way it speaks louder than words. Absolutely. Art is always useful in, I don't know how to explain this. I just feel it. It's inside. Mm -hmm. And when it's inside, it's complicated. But if you take the time to say, this is what it looks like to me, then it starts to come into form and it's easier to understand. And then you can share it with somebody, which is also really powerful. What is some of the transformation that you see in your clients and students? Well, one thing is purpose. Purpose really wants to come through in art. And so I, I have people make art about one thing and then we process it and it's like, this is your purpose coming through. So that's beautiful to have clarity of, this is who I am, this is what I'm meant to be doing. And it gives you the confidence to take that next step or take the risk because it's like, well, it's in my art and I didn't even mean for it to be there. So I really trust that that's meant to, to like guide me. And then it's quite healing as well. Um, Every month in one of my groups, we kind of go down into the shadow and we go on a mini hero's journey. And whenever you come back out of the shadow, you have healed something. You've taken it and you've been like, 
okay, this feels really horrible, but what could be good about it? For example, one month we created failure, right? So that's not a fun place to go, but I know that that's where the juice is. So we go into failure and then it's like, well, how is it really not failure? How is it vulnerability? How is it courage? How is it this? And when you take your own art and transform it, like right before your eyes, it's very healing for you. You're like, yeah, maybe I'm cooler than I thought I was. <laughs> Do you have to be an artist, like have some experience with materials and to kind that of- is- the million dollar question. The answer is no, 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 no. So, so much not, but it does hold a lot of people back. Um, you can get soul messages from art with like really simple stick figures. Like I'm, I think I'm a good artist, but I can just, I'll just do really simple drawings because I just want the information to come through. But what people do need is willingness. So when people meet me and they know that I do art, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't even draw a stick figure. So if that's what you're thinking, it's like, no, it's not about how well can I draw this? It's not about shading or technique. That's what we think of with art. But this is really like, what do I know inside? So that's something that only you could ever depict is what you know inside. So it's really about willingness and openness is like the superpower that you need. Do you think that, connects people more to their heart's desires and gets them out of their head. That's exactly it. I always say it bypasses the mind and gets to the heart of what's really going on. Your heart wants to talk to you. Your soul wants to talk to you, but you're just, you don't know how to listen. And so when you make art, especially this particular way, it's like, it's always right there. (laughs) Your soul is like, yay, thank you for giving me the microphone. (laughs) 